Tell us the persons who are destined to success, or rather they want to achieve success, but they lack the drive to achieve that success. If you want more, you first have to be more. Success is something you attract by who you become, not just what you think you can become. All your hows will be meaningless unless you're wise or powerful enough. You first have to identify what is your reason for wanting to become successful? What is your motivation? What lies behind that desire to become successful? Until you have set your desire and motivation in place, you will abandon any new path you seek to better your life. There is a word called fear that usually prevents individuals from becoming successful. Fear of failure. Fear of being criticized by others. What separates fearless individuals from everyone else is not the absence of fear, but their ability to overcome it. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but that of a sound mind. The more we feed that mind, is the more we will learn to overcome those fears. The fruit of destruction comes from the seed of comparison the moment we compare ourselves with others is the moment we rob ourselves of that uniqueness that we were created with no one else is like you do not compare yourself to others and finally the first part a fixing something is knowing that no matter how damaged it seems, there is always a way to fix it. It doesn't matter how hard you may think success, success is to achieve. The moment you start believing in yourself, the moment you start accepting your purpose, then that's the moment you will realize that success is only a thought process away. I was not raised in a family setting as most successful persons are. As a matter of fact, I was led to believe that based on my circumstances, I am not able to achieve a whole lot of things that others might have achieved. And while I'll hasten to say that, yes, my circumstances did affect my success. But in life, I've learned that affect and circumstance can either be positive or negative. And you determine what that will be. For me, I have turned my circumstances into positives, not allowing it to deter me from achieving that which I thought I was destined to achieve. I dare you to change your thought process. I dare you to start sowing seeds that are positive. I dare you to start accepting that you can be as successful as you want to be. I dare you to get rid of the fear that holds you back in life. 
But most of all, I dare you to believe in yourself.